everybody, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another Simple Truth News update. And I came across a story. I was watching uh, ESPN this morning, um, and I was watching the ticker. I was at the gym. I was watching the ticker. And lo and behold, it has happened again. Yet again, the alternative lifestyle agenda I want you to hear me when when I say this the alternative lifestyle agenda no matter how loving and peaceful they may appear to be they are using the bullying platform once again once again to show you how they want to ram down the throats of people who, number one, don't believe that that lifestyle is the way that people should conduct themselves in, whether it be through just personal conviction or whether that personal conviction comes from a, blip, a biblical perspective. What has happened is Manny Pacquiao, the beloved fighter from the Philippines, he, he was, I guess he was asked the question about his thoughts or his feelings or, you know, what he felt about same-sex marriages, and he told him. They asked the question, and he told him what he felt he didn't give an answer that was politically correct he didn't give an answer that was for them he gave the answer from him and you can go back and research and find out what the actual answer was i know what it is but do your due diligence find out what he said and after he said what he said he was nike separated themselves from him as far as their as their uh, uh, um, business union it just goes to show you that the Bible or the scriptures are real whether you want to believe them or not and Yeshua Jesus the Christ he said himself just as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it again be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. And so you might be saying to yourself, Jermaine, what are you saying? What is, what is the point of all of this? Well, the point of all of this is how many pastors out there? I know I have one, the Honorable Charles Dow, Pastor Charles Dow. He's teaching those that are under his charge from the most high that we are to follow those scriptures and follow that book bar none and if the book says it that's what we're to do and we follow him as he follows Jesus the Christ Yeshua HaMashiach and he has said time and time again that no matter how much you want to believe that you are free it is just an illusion. And now that, that he, he teaches us. And now once you begin to see things with truthful clarity and you begin to understand the scriptures from not a perspective that supports what this wicked world supports, you start to see things from a whole different paradigm and you start to understand that all of this all of this is just like ancient Rome it's just like ancient Rome the names pretty much have stayed the same Nike is a, a Roman or Greek God you know it's a Greco-Roman society and Pastor has always also said uh, um, that all you have to do is look around at the architecture here in America and it tells you 
whose influence is upon us. So I bring that all back to say that we are living in some wicked times. And it's getting to the point that the so-called freedoms that they say that we have due to the Constitution of the United States of America are the very things that they're using, it seems, to beat us down. They say we have freedom of religion, but when you don't practice, quote unquote, their religion, they beat you down. They're some sort of anti-something group. If you believe in, as the Bible tells it, telling us that if you don't have a sword, you are to, uh, you know, sell your cloak and go buy one. And even the Constitution says that we have the right to bear arms. But there are so many anti-groups against that, that they are telling us that it is not right to have the very thing they say that we have the right to have. I know that might have been kind of roundabout, but I think you get my point. And then we have a thing called freedom of speech. The freedom of speech is only free as long as you're saying what is conducive to what they want to be heard. But the moment that freedom of speech is used to for exposing, putting forth the truth, no matter how anybody interprets it or likes it, then all of a sudden, they're gonna use that to beat the situation down. The simple truth of the whole matter is the only freedom and liberty is in the Most High Himself. That's the only place that there's any freedom or liberty. It, it's not in a country, it's not in a land, but it's in the Most High Himself. This has been the simple truth. And as I always tell you, it's the simple things that are oftentimes the most profound, but yet they're the most difficult to put into practice and to actually do. I wanna thank you for joining me and I'll be sure to see you, you, and you again on another episode real soon.